The traditional golf swing asks you to create rhythm, tempo, and timing through the movements that you make and the focus that you have. Wouldn't it be great if rhythm, proper rhythm, proper tempo, proper timing were just a product of something better, like the position that you're in? Well, it is. And it's because of this. Let's break down those terms, right? Rhythm. Well, rhythm, in order to have a rhythm, think about a metronome, which creates rhythm. How it works is it's a pendulum. Well, we're working off of a pendulum too. Our pendulum is the left side or the forward side of our body. As the forward side of our body anchors, we get a rhythm that occurs from the stillness of this position. It's nothing that you have to monitor. The club is going to do its thing as it flexes and it, and it builds its momentum throughout the swing while you do your thing and hold your position. It's, it, it's what happens when you get the club to work for you. You get the club to work for you because you're doing nothing. If you're working too, it's going to be hard for the club to work also. But if you do nothing, something has to give. And what gives is the club. The club does the work for you. So to create good rhythm, you could just set a proper position with your left side and hold that position still. Then whatever cadence you swing at will be good because it's set upon this axis point. It's set upon this pendulum. Tempo. Tempo, the pace of the swing that you swing at. When you are holding a position, and as you progress in this process, you're going to recognize that you can do it. I can change my tempo. I can hit it hard with a great intensity, or I can hit it really dead with a dead intensity. That's the tempo. If you hold your position, the tempo that you swing at should have no effect on whether or not you're going to hit a good shot. It just changes the spin that you're putting on the ball. So tempo is something that doesn't have to be thought of until you get to a skill level that's so high that you can actually monitor the cadence that you swing at in order to affect the spin on the ball. This is only necessary for players that want to be a zero handicap or better. Everybody else up until that point can swing at one tempo, whatever your natural tempo is. You don't have to try and create something that, 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 because think about it, tempo is, is relative, like it, there's many tempos in different types of songs. There is no correct tempo. There are different beats. Don't try and create a beat. Don't try and create a tempo. Once you set into your left, swing at the cadence that you feel comfortable with. It's correct. And as you get better and better, you'll actually learn how to vary that cadence to change your shots. Now the third thing is timing. Timing is only important if we move our original position. If we're changing our position, now we have to time when we return back to the ball. And that's why timing is such an important part of the conventional swing. They move you off the ball and they ask you to time your relationship back to the ball. Well, that timing is not necessary for us because we're not moving. We're holding a position. So our timing has been guaranteed in the fact that we haven't moved. So there's nothing that needs to be timed. So rhythm, tempo, and timing should not be how you create a good swing. It should be the product of a good swing, the product of a forward-sided swing.